Hello everyone, I'm George Taylor from Imagine Nerding, and on this episode I've got another book unboxing or unwrapping or just opening. I'm not sure what to call it. Huh. Anyway, but I've got another book that I'm excited to share. I reached out to the publisher for a review copy and they sent it to me and I don't know anything about it except it's about Kem Weber, who, if you don't know Kem, helped design the Disney Studios in Burbank. And this is a book by David A. Bossert, who I'm very familiar with his work. He is a fantastic historian, so I'm very excited to get into this title. But let's take a look at Kem Weber, Mid-Century Furniture design, Designs for the Disney Studios. But before we get started, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit that bell notification so you can be updated whenever I release a new video about a Disney book, theme parks, theme park history, or anything else like that. Here we are for my official unwrapping. I just cut a corner in the hole, a uh, hole in the corner. <laughs> nice to get the plastic wrap off because that's always the hardest part for me. Oh, wow, right off the bat, I, I really like the texture. It's textured, the cover's textured like a wood grain and a photograph on top of it. You can actually feel the difference. That's kind of neat. Unnecessary, but really, really neat. So for those of you not familiar with David A. Bossert, he is an animator. Sorry, who worked with the Disney Studios, worked on The Black Cauldron and several other films. And currently he's written quite a lot of books, including one about Oswald the Lucky Rabbit, The Art of the uh, uh, Remembering Roy E. Disney, and the Dolly and Disney Destino book, which is really, really good. Oh, I'm not turning the page here. So there's a photo of Kem. Oh wow, is that beautifully, it's a glossy photograph, that is fantastic. Another one with showing one of his designs. Okay, so get an introduction to him, what mid-century modern and the rise of the West Coast modernism, the new studio complex in Burbank. Oh, and it looks like individual uh, pieces of furniture have their own chapter. And the airline chair is one that he is very uh, well known for. So an introduction about him, the Animation Research Library, and that looks like that's one of his, de wow, that's a great desk. Okay. We really have to admit, the, 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 the way these are printed is just fantastic. That's a, it's got a beautiful gloss on the photographs, which really make them shine. I know it's hard to see because of the lights that I've got, but they are really gorgeous. So the ch second chapter looks like it's all about mid-century modern and the rise of the West Coast modernism because Ken Weber was uh, from Germany and sort of got out during like the 1915 San Francisco uh, exposition and because of World War I got stuck over here. And these are some examples of apartment designs and storerooms that he had done because they were selling furniture. It, really, I, I'm just taken aback by how well these photographs are presented. Chapter three, a new studio complex in Burbank after they moved from the Hyperion Studios, Hyperion. And there he is with Walt. And there's, oh wow, these are really, so they're picking out finishings, finishes it looks like. Yeah, furniture under construction. Ooh, look at that design, the director's desk. So in the director's offices themselves, Joe Grant seated in the airline chairs, famous story man, Dick Humor, okay. The story desk, and one in use, and the infamous airline chair. If you Google an airline chair, you'll come up with great a lot of photographs of it. And you can see it was, you had to put it together, sort of like precursor to Ikea. <laughs> great images of the airline chair itself, in the sweat box. You guys do know about the sweat box, right? The layout desk, okay. Well, we would typically think of an animation desk and you can sort of see one of these at the Disney Hollywood Studios in One Man's Dream. Not sure if it's the same one or if it's one of the more traditional animation desks. I'd have to look at my photographs. But you can see how it was all designed. Oh, look at those offices with the chairs and the furniture. A little more modern. 
Ah, Andreas Deja, actually at one of the animators' desks. Assistants and in-betweeners. Ooh, like the uh, property tag that's on it. Background desk, color keying desk, the checkers desk, ancillary furniture pieces, ah, closets, other types of desks, filing desks, even a clock, and the epilogue, the tools, construction notes, how it's put together. Oh, wow, a quick reference guide to show you the different pieces of the animation furniture. Huh. This is really very well done. A nice look at the Disney Studios. Oh, wow. Contemporary shot of Walt Disney's desk and corner credenza in his main office. And some more drawings. I'm going, going through these fairly quickly because you need to get a copy of this book. If you like anything to do with animation, animation history, the Disney Studios, you're going to love this one. Wonderful. End notes. I didn't see if there was a bibliography. Nope. But that's okay. They do have end notes. And there we go. So, Old Mill Press was who published this one. <laughs> And we'll go back to the front cover. Kem Weber. Mid-Century Furniture Designs for the Disney Studios by David A. Bossert. As I mentioned, he uh, is an animator. He's written several books for uh, Disney Press and others. And I really like this. I was surprised. Um, if you know anything about the studios, you know how important Kem Weber's designs were, as well as modernism and everything that he did. He's, he's pretty famous right now. Uh, definitely love this book. Think you should add it, especially if you love animation or anything about the Burbank Studios. So tell me what you think about this book. Is this a title that you're going to uh, purchase or maybe one that you're going to try to get from the library? If you have any interest in the animation studios or the Burbank Studios itself, I think you need to add this book to your collection. It is well worth it. The illustrations and photographs and drawings are stunning and so well done it's definitely worth picking up a copy. So don't forget to subscribe so you can get notified when there are more videos like this that I release, you know, from theme parks, theme park history, and books about Disney, the Disney Studios, and different theme and amusement parks. I'm George Taylor from Imagine Nerding, and I hope to see you in the parks. Don't forget to smash that like button.